Under the Bodhi Tree A Story of the Buddha by Deborah Hopkinson Illustrations by Kelly Whitman In a long ago time and a far away place a baby boy was born His name was Prince Siddharth Before his birth his mother dreamed of a beautiful white elephant The wise men said it was a sign the baby would be special and he was just like babies then and now and everywhere and just like you the baby grew to be a kind and gentle child once he found a wounded swan and nursed it back to health so it could soar across the sky again the little prince wanted to spread his wings too but his father said you must stay here away from the world where i can keep you safe from any pain or sorrow and so siddharth grew up behind the garden walls of a rich and splendid palace he had new fine clothes a grand white horse the softest rice to eat but like children then and now and everywhere and just like you he longed to discover the world at last when siddharth was a young man his father let him visit the great city the king ordered the mayor hold a festival in the market with flowers song and dance my son must see only happy sights but of course the prince was curious and wandered off to explore and that is how he first came to see hardship pain and suffering first he gave a sip of water to a person lying sick with fever next he helped an old man with an aching crooked back cross the road then he bowed his head to share a grieving family's sorrow siddharth's heart felt heavy and his own eyes filled with tears he could not stop wondering how can i help others you can do much good as a prince the king told his troubled son siddharth shook his head even the wisest ruler cannot stop sickness old age and death he said i want to find a way to help people live in ease and peace and so like seekers then and now and everywhere the prince set off to find his way just as you may do some day at first siddharth looked to others for answers he journeyed far and long and followed many different paths but he still felt lost like a little ship in a stormy sea tossed by wind and waves one day siddharth came upon the welcoming shade of a tall majestic tree his spirits rose and he thought Perhaps the answer is inside me. I will stay in this pleasant grove until I find a way to peace. Then I can teach others too. And so Siddharth crossed his legs in quiet meditation. Many days passed, raindrops fell, cool breezes blew, the sun beat down, and still Siddharth sat, sheltered by the rustling heart-shaped leaves of the old and lovely tree once a woman named sujata passed by and thought he looks weak and hungry she brought him sweetened milk and rice she smiled and said please accept this gift if you are hungry you should eat siddharth tipped back the bowl to taste the delicious treat the rice and milk was warm and sweet Thank you for your kindness he said on that clear and brilliant night waves still rippled the surface of his mind but now the prince just let his fears and worries come and go and kept on breathing mindfully in and out deep and slow soon even the sighing heart shaped leaves grew still as serene as siddharth's mind and then just before dawn he looked up in the eastern sky 
a bright planet appeared the morning star at that moment like the swan so long ago siddharth felt himself soar aware free and fully alive his worries fell away and he saw clearly that all things fit together big and small hard and easy joyful and sad all part of one wondrous world in a time long ago and a place far away a baby boy was born his name was prince siddharth today we call him the buddha the awakened one buddha did not stay alone under the heart shaped leaves of the sacred bodhi tree instead he rose and went into the world to show the way of peace to others then and now and everywhere and yes of course to you and me